Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel for a very special episode as tonight I went through the drive through at KFC and holy smokers, they've got the brand new Georgia Gold Chicken. Oh, this chicken was inspired by the Gold Club in Atlanta. You think this was inspired by the Gold Club? Well, it's in Georgia, ain't it? I always make it rain at the Gold Club. Now, you may have seen the ads on television with the Colonel with the gold face. Tell me, when did Destro become CEO of KFC? Does G.I. Joe know about this? Okay, so here's the full packaging just to give you an idea how this comes with the lid and the special sticker on here. This comes with a coleslaw. Here it is with the lid off. And there's the biscuit, and of course the main event, the Georgia Gold Chicken. Now there's not a tremendous amount of sauce in the bottom of this tray. There is a discernible gold color on the chicken itself, as well as the sauce. Pickles are kind of hiding down there instead of being on the top. And of course the classic buttermilk biscuit and we have the coleslaw here zoom in close on that coating this is extra crispy which is really the only way you can get it or you can get it grilled apparently but in terms of coated chicken extra crispy is the one they offer it in Now I have to say, as soon as I pop the lid on this, there's a pungent aroma of vinegary honey mustard. You can imagine what that would smell like, a strong note of vinegar. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Now, I don't know if you can see the juice on there, but it's a very juicy piece of chicken. It appears to be dark meat, which is my personal favorite. I would say there is a good honey mustard flavor, but it may not be quite as strong as I expected. It was quite a bit more noticeable in the second bite there. There's a little bit more on that part of the coating. It has very little zing to it. Barely registers a 1 out of 10. You just can tell there's a little bit of spice in there, probably just mostly from the mustard. The vinegar flavor is also not quite as much as the aroma would have suggested. Pretty much a sweet and only slightly spicy mustard flavor. One thing I noticed with the larger piece here is that it had a lot more of the coating on it and I could get there was a little more complex flavor almost something that was like an Old Bay element within the sauce there was a little bit less meat than there usually is on that piece, which was a little disappointing. And it wasn't quite as tender as the leg was, but it had more flavor on the coating. Now, let's go ahead and try the other side items here, even though we've all had them before, probably. Well, that's the uh, delicious coleslaw as usual, and now finally the biscuit.
Keskiltä. Oh my god, good news and I got bad news. The good news is I finally managed to add a DeLorean to my car collection. That sounds awesome. How could there be any bad news? Well, uh, apparently every DeLorean is not a time machine. I didn't know that. I was in the mall parking lot and I got up to about 88 miles an hour and then everything just went black. They say they found my body somewhere between Forever 21 and Sabaro. Well, I still think that KFC has the best biscuit of any fast food restaurant. There's something about it that is not only the baking powder biscuit style of uh, biscuit, but it also has that little bit of flavor that comes from something like bacon fat that you get in a real biscuit down south, not just purely a slightly buttery bread flavor. You have to have something more like a fat or grease, and this definitely has it. You get a little something extra being able to dip it into this sauce. Five star coleslaw as usual. Uh, as far as the chicken, I have just a pile of bones left here. Uh, the flavor is just basically what it sounds like, honey mustard. If you had one, you had them all. Only really on the larger piece did I get any hint that there was anything unique to this sauce uh, compared to others. So while it definitely delivers the honey mustard flavor it promised, it's not quite this out of the world experience that I might have been expecting from all the hype and also having to wait a whole year. I uh, can't believe it's been a year since KFC had anything new to review. Uh, the price on this is $5.49 for everything that I got here. Uh, I think that that is, uh, I know chicken is expensive these days. It may be a dollar more than I would like to pay given the lack of meat, in particular on that second, that large piece didn't have quite as much meat on it as I would expect. Due to the lack of meat and there being only one side item with this, this is definitely not enough to fill me up for a dinner. So if you're paying $5.49, you're going to have to get some side items, I think, to go with this as well as a dessert. So there is a bit of a price issue. And then we had the Montgomery County Council who think that we are all made out of gold, charging us 33 cents tax for this, ridiculous as usual. Overall, I would say that this is definitely worth a try. The honey mustard marinade, it definitely adds something to the coating itself. When you bite in, it's a little bit more moist than it usually is. And it just gives that extra flavor, but beyond that, there's nothing that I would particularly run back just for this. I would just go for KFC chicken that I always enjoy, the biscuit, and I'd get the two sides like I ordinarily would. So. Overall, I would say KFC chicken is always five stars in my book, so it's hard to downgrade this from that. It's, it really is five stars with a honey mustard flavor, but for the lack of meat and the fact that I wasn't completely knocked over by this special recipe that we've been hearing for a year about, I'm going to go ahead and give this four stars, a very solid four stars, and still a must try if you're a fan of KFC. Hope you like this video, share it with your friends, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.